capture some of our moments for future generations. <laughs> That's it, our legacy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so what's what's been your biggest motivation for, for training lately? I know when we started, we were both competing pretty heavy. Right. Uh, Taekwondo, high level com competition, then we went to MMA mm -hmm. and now Jiu Jitsu. What keeps you going? Well, it's different obviously for me now. Like competing, I compete once a year at World Masters, but that's really just because I get to go hang out with everybody, you know, and have fun and be with you guys and, right. you know, the friends and stuff. And and since I'm there, I, I enjoy sharing that ups and downs of, of the day, uh, the week rather. Uh, but that that's really not why I can do what I do anymore. Now it's really like my students, like seeing the light bulb come on, like my black belt Johnny talks about that light bulb, you know, um, seeing people click and seeing like them after class sitting and talking to each other and sharing moments and, you know, like the, the smiles I see on the people's faces and stuff like that's why I love what I do now, you know. That, that kind of space is very special and it's not yeah. very readily available to people yeah. outside of this kind of environment. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, kind of as a side, I, I left medicine because it was kind of a negative environment. Nobody wants to be in the hospital. Nobody wants to be there. But, but here people have decided, like, it's hard, right? And I was talking to your guys this morning about that. Like, these are the kind of people I want to be around, whether they're a plumber, a doctor, a lawyer, a, you know, car salesman, it doesn't matter, right? Like, nobody cares. Right. Um, what they care is that you're willing to come in, do something hard every day, and come back tomorrow, you know? Consistently. Yeah. You're, you're there for them. Right. And so, so those being around people that are willing to like push themselves a little bit each day and it's not easy to get up in the morning. It's not easy to come and train after you've already worked a full day or whatever it is, um, but they show up. And so, and then, and then they escape all that stuff in their mind. You know, the stress seems to go away for the hour, hour and a half or whatever time they're training because they're focused on the problem at hand, right? It's hard to think about bills when you're being strained. <laughs> exactly. And like I said this morning, like it's, there's, there's nothing going to be in throughout your day that's harder than trying to fight off a 200 pound guy on your back right you know yeah you've just been through your most difficult part of the day yeah and it's and, and it's the most beautiful first win. yeah exactly that's awesome yeah so that's a big thing for me now is seeing you know being a teacher uh for the last three four years has really like kind of refreshed my love for the whole thing um so that i see it in through fresh eyes you know because probably same for you like when i was purple belt i stopped thinking about what i was doing and my body would just start doing it um and then now trying to teach it to somebody, I'm like, why are you not getting this right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's because I didn't explain it well because my body does it and I forgot to mention like, oh, put your hip here or <laughs> put that hand here. It's just, you know. Take the first four steps for granted. Yeah, yeah. Unconscious competence. Exactly right, yeah. That's awesome. What about you? You wanna jump into this with the struggles we've had in the last year? You wanna talk about oh, that? Yeah, I, I, I love um, jujitsu and lightning kicks because it teaches you how to fight. And I'm not talking about fighting another person, mm -hmm. but it's like your tattoo. Yeah. Right? I, I fight not simply with my opponent. I fight with my demons of doubt, with my exhaustion, with my past failures, with my injuries, with that unrelenting voice that tells me to stop. But I'm a fighter, and one thing is certain, I will be victorious. I mean, you're getting crushed by this 240-pound guy, and you have your hands full already. You don't need to start negative self-talk and self-doubt and just panic mode. Jiu-Jitsu teaches you to handle the problem that you're facing right now. My primary problem, this is this guy, and my solution is gonna be my path out, and I have to allocate my resources, my attention, to that first problem before I worry about anything else. Yeah. And people are just, especially with this last year, bro, everybody's just beat down with the pandemic, with all the political stuff, and jujitsu guys are just, you know, riding it out, because yeah. you're yeah. in a bad position. Yep. All right, cool, what do I have to do to get out Right now, I just, what can I do right now? Yeah. Breathe, <laughs> keep my limbs in, and relax, right? Yeah. So it, that mentality, being able to share that with other people and them taking it out to their work, to their day-to-day -day life, their family life, it's just priceless. Yep, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. It's huge. And and people maybe didn't realize like how much they missed it while they were forced to be closed or while we were not available to do it. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu guys are like fiends. They're like, like, when can we it's open like, again? Can, you got any of those open mats? Can we roll? I don't care if it's six months in jail because yeah, if we're violating it. Uh, no. but, yeah. but because they understand, right, the benefits of it, right? And, and the euphoria you get 
you know, during that thing and that and that clarity you feel in the moment. The silence. Right? Yes, exactly, of the mind that's constantly going. And a lot of us have that just noise going on all the time or worry or stress or anxious, anxiety. And, and so having a, a moment in the day where you can just, it all just goes away, you know? It's like when you were talking about your five and not letting in negativity and people that are negative because you already have enough problems yeah that's the same thing i already have enough issues go or to, to face and deal with i don't need to add additional negative self-talk or listen to the mind the uh, rev its tires and you know its engine and um just being able to stop deal with this issue right now and don't worry about what happened earlier don't worry about what's going to happen after class that silence for me is priceless yeah imagine. well i mean a lot of a lot of gurus talk about that right like you, you have anxiety for the future or you have you know uh, right. regret Question. from the past yeah. right but the present is a present for a reason it's it's a present for you right being in the moment um is a gift and there's different ways of getting it but for you and i it's just yeah yeah and i think for most people that do it on a regular basis kind of feel similar mm -hmm. right they feel like it, it's that time of day when they can just shut that down